Hello, I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry. I want to welcome you to this Christian ministry. The message today is, Be Not Afraid, Only Believe. This comes from the book of Mark in chapter 5, verses 21 through 24 and 35 through 43. If you want to follow along with us, this is during Jesus' ministry in Galilee. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell down at his feet. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. <clears throat> and Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. Now let's go to verse 35. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, The daughter is dead. Why trouble thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado, and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand, and said unto her, Tell I the cumi, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. And straightway the damsel arose, and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it. And he commanded that something should be given her to eat. During Jesus' ministry, Jesus did things that only God can do. That's because Jesus is God. And Jesus is the Son of God at the same time. See, Jesus did many signs and wonders that people would know that he is God. And we need to know that today. And we need to not be afraid. Only believe. Because when we're dealing and interacting and having a relationship with God, Nothing is impossible. Jesus is caring for this ruler of the synagogue, or the one that keeps the synagogue, Jairus. Because of his faith, his daughter, his 12-year-old daughter, was not sleeping, or it wasn't a permanent death. The girl really did die, but it wasn't a permanent death because it was the will of God the will of Jesus for her to live again. And Jesus spoke to her. It says, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. Let me talk to you just a moment here this morning about your life. Listen, there's one thing that we need to do when circumstances happen that are, are beyond natural abilities beyond our natural ability to take care of a situation. We need to go to God and have faith in our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> <clears throat> this man, Jairus, recognized that Jesus 
was from God. He may not have understood everything about Jesus at this time, but he knew that Jesus was about God. He may even have understood that Jesus is the Lord and possibly even that he is the Son of God. Jesus had been preaching and teaching and telling people to repent because the kingdom of heaven was at hand, and that he was the Lord, and that people should believe in him. And if they did that, they could be forgiven for their sins and could have a relationship through him with God. Now, that's what Jesus was teaching and telling that the people that they could be a part of the kingdom of God. And that's what we are preaching today. As a man of God sent to share the gospel, the good news and the truth about Jesus Christ out into the world. No matter what situation comes your way, I encourage you to first of all have salvation in your life or profess to Jesus that you believe he is the Son of God. But then, even then, be not afraid. Only believe. Have faith in your life that in things that seem impossible. And take them in prayer. Take them in meditation. Take them in proclaiming that you know that God can make a difference in a situation. Take your things to God. Be not afraid. Only believe. There's many different situations that seem beyond recovery, beyond being good, beyond being made better, but God can do these things. <clears throat> Don't sit around and weep and be so discouraged that you just completely get out of yourself. Have courage and faith and believe in your God that he can make a difference and will make a difference in your life. Let us take our problems and situations to God. Be not afraid and only believe. That's what happened to the man Jairus. That's what Jesus told him. <clears throat> because of the faith that he had in Jesus. And what happened was his 12-year-old girl that had died came back to life when Jesus spoke to her and told her to arise. Listen, Jesus is God. Jesus is your God. He can be. He's made it possible to for you to have him as your God. He died on the cross for all the sins of the world. That's your sins. You can receive the gift of God and be forgiven for your sins and have a personal relationship and have Jesus as your God through believing in what he did on the cross and accepting him as God the Son of God even. Praise God for Jesus and the work that he did during his ministry here on earth, showing us that he is God and that he can do miracles and signs and wonders. And he's still doing them today. He only has to speak and the dead can rise again. He only has to speak and our situations in our life get better. He only has to speak, and the weather improves. He only has to speak, and we have strength. Jesus is God. I encourage you today, if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, to get down on your knees and pray to him and ask him to forgive you for your sins and tell him that you believe he is the son of God. Praise God for loving us so much that he sent Jesus down here 
upon this earth to show us godly signs and wonders that we should believe in him. In our prayer time today, I'd like to pray for Randy Davis and for safe travels in an upcoming trip. Tommy White. And Tommy asked prayer for the church to be strengthened. I've thought about this since this prayer request come in. And let's pray to God that he would strengthen the church or the women and the men that believe in Jesus Christ. We pray in this prayer that God would strengthen us to be bolder in our testifying to be bolder in our sharing of the word of God, that Jesus would strengthen us, the church, in many ways. Ernestine Owens, I want to pray for her. And she says, praising and blessings to all. Thank you for that, Ernestine. Tony Grass, I want to pray for him. And I want to pray for his strength and stability in his walk as a Christian. He has a lot of burdens going on in his life right now. He, I want to lift up his finances. He has a blood clot. And also he's lost, he has a loss of a brother recently. And let's lift up Brother Tony to the Lord this morning in prayer. Everybody pray for Tony today. Debbie, Debbie Davenport. I'd like to pray for her and her, her husband, Mark. And Mark is having heart surgery soon. And I'd like to pray for her and, and for her to have strength as she's emptying out a building. And also pray for the person that's helping her that has been sick. I'd like to pray for Brenda Holsom back. And I'd like to pray for her and she has an unspoken prayer request, and she's been battling the flu and allergies. <clears throat> Jean Holden, Tammy Anderson, let's lift these up in prayer. I'd like to pray for uh, our, ch our church family members, Madison, Wesley, and Heather Hunt, Fred and Linda McCoy, as they face some uh, uh, uh undesirable weather in the place of where they're on a missions trip. And I'd also like to pray for safe travel on their way home. Now you lift up your prayer request. Whatever the Lord is laying on your heart this morning, let's pray about it. Dear Jesus, we come to you in prayer and thank you so much, God, that we can know you and not be afraid, but only believe that you will help us in our situations in life. God, we lift up all of the prayer requests that's been made mention of. God, we pray for the ones that are praying while watching this video, God, that you would touch them and heal them and deliver them and give them strength and comfort and whatever they stand in need of, God. I pray for them that have taken this time to pray to you right now. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. Be not afraid. Only believe in Jesus. Thank you.